It was in January of 2017. I was getting ready to go to work and I was feeling so tired and I was getting my winter cold, the coughing and the congestion, but the total exhaustion was probably the biggest sign that there was something drastically wrong. I noticed her breathing was off. And I said, are you okay? And she said, no. At that point, I made the decision to come to New York Presbyterian Hospital and drive straight to the emergency room. When I first saw Jacqueline, my first impression was she's in septic shock with organ failures. It was a very bad situation. I figured everything was okay. We're in a hospital. She's going to be fine. It's just a cold. But they actually had to put her on the ventilator, and it, you could see the urgency in all the doctors. It was infection. It was pneumonia that caused her uh, problem breathing and caused organ dysfunctions, heart dysfunction, kidney dysfunction, renal dysfunction. The doctors kept telling me to go get my kids just come say goodbye. And after hearing it from the third person, it started to sink in, and I almost passed out. I needed to talk to my girls. And that's what I went home and did. It was the hardest thing I ever had to do. He was crying that day. It was so emotional for all the team in ICU. After we worked uh, with her for 48 hours, we placed her under dialysis and she tolerated the first session well. We said she had high chances of making it. If New York Presbyterian Hudson Valley Hospital didn't have this kind of expertise, Jacqueline won't be with us today. I could see that she had life coming back into her and the doctors were just fantastic. The nurses were fantastic. What's really important in life and what we think is important are two totally different things. I've never been hospitalized, I've never been sick. It's been a life-changing event, especially for myself, but for my family as well. Not to take anyone or anything for granted. Being placed at this hospital under the care of the doctors and the staff was a miracle in itself. ICU psychosis, we see it more often in very sick patients who are in induced coma for a long period of time. Uh, usually it goes away. Uh, that's what happened in Jacqueline's case. It, it took a long time, but she recovered fully. Every moment we are to be grateful for because you never know if the next morning you won't wake up. New York Presbyterian Hudson Valley Hospital was there at our most desperate moment most desperate moment and they saved our lives. <laughs>